At 530, an emergency room is shutting down, and first responders, of course, are concerned. The ER at Leonard Morse Hospital in Natick will be closing, and the next closest emergency room will now be 20 minutes away. WBC's Lisa Greshi looks at the impact. The emergency room at Leonard Morse Hospital in Natick will soon be shutting its doors for good. Seems problematic. Starting in May, all emergency services will shift to Framingham Union Hospital, six miles away. Potentially setting back response times 10 minutes. A big time, yeah. And I think everybody knows that in, in EMS. Every minute counts. Natick Fire Chief Michael Lentini met with his command staff to go over what can be done to help. It's those people that are chronically ill, the pregnant, the, the people who know that they may need to pick up that phone anytime. How's this going to impact me? The drive isn't the only concern. Some are worried about how long the wait times are going to be once they get there. You want to go to the closest one? They're often long waits. I mean, I've been to them several times in my life, and it's never a quick thing. That means everybody's got to go to Framingham, and that, it's, that's overloaded now, too. The hospital plans to consolidate behavioral health services, explaining in part, we envision the Leonard Morris Hospital campus becoming a unique behavioral health specialty center dedicated to the mental health of our community for child, adolescent, adult, geriatric, and psychiatric care. The Massachusetts Nurses Association, representing nearly 200 nurses at Leonard Morse, tells WBZ they're opposing these changes. No matter what happens... We are aware of the situation. We understand it's going to be a burden and that we will find solutions to the problems. Reporting in Natick, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News. Mm. Now, this will be the third ER to close in the greater Boston area in the last six years, joining Lawrence Memorial Hospital in Medford and Union Hospital in Lynn. And Somerville may be next. Cambridge Health Alliance wants to close the emergency department that it's been running since closing Somerville Hospital.